my Spanish is all mixed up. I'm like, my mother's Mexican, my father's Guatemalan. People would look at me and say, oh, where are you from? Are you Dominican, Puerto Rican, Cuban? They would go through every single country they knew of. And at the very last, they'd be like, well, you're not Mexican. I'm like, yes, I am. I am, I'm half Mexican. Well, what's the other half? I don't know, why don't you guess? And they would never guess Guatemala because they didn't even know it existed. When my sister and I were growing up, we were both sent away for the summer, like a typical Latino family. The day after school ended, you would get shipped off to a country, and the week before school started, you would get brought back. I would usually get sent to Guatemala, and my sister would get sent to Mexico. So we learned to speak two completely different types of Spanish. My sister has her little chilanguita accent, muy mexicana, órale. Oye, mami, ¿a dónde pusiste la mochila? And me, Papi, mira, no sabes a dónde pusiste la mochila. But then aside from that, I grew up in a part of Brooklyn that's predominantly Italian-American. Uh, one of my best friends is Italian. The other one is Cuban. I grew up with Colombians. I went to one high school that was predominantly Latina, and all the girls thought like this. And they were like, Leslie, why you talk like that? Why do you have that accent for? You always hang out with the white girls. And I don't get that. Like, why do you have to talk like that to be considered a Latina? Half those girls didn't even speak Spanish, and I speak fluent Spanish. I can speak de tu, and I can speak de vos. And then I go and I marry a Puerto Rican man. So now my family is Mexican, Guatemalan, Puerto Rican. We're like the United Nations.